Hey, Christ Kevin and Rocky Mount, I want to give you a preview of kind of where we're headed Sunday with the sermon as we continue looking at the book of Titus. We'll, in fact, we'll complete uh, the book of Titus and complete our devoted series uh, devoted to the church. And so just want to give some thoughts on what to, to consider as we head into Sunday. I mean, Titus 3 is a, a wonderful text. It's really going to kind of point out that new birth, regeneration, the fact that we've been born again radically changes us, changes us. In fact, it makes us zealous for good works. And that's what Paul has talked about at the end of Titus 2, that he has purified for himself a people uh, for his own possession who will be zealous for good works. And we're going to see at the beginning of the chapter is that then should make us the best citizens, those who are uh, obedient to to rulers and to authorities. But this all takes place be, because of the gospel. And Paul is going to kind of beautifully unpack the gospel in, in, in the middle part of Titus 3. In fact, it's going to sound a lot like Ephesians 2, as he he kind of, again, reminds Titus and by extension reminds us of the beauty of the gospel, which indeed does change us, makes us uh, those who can be the best citizens. And then he's going to end the chapter saying that the gospel not only radically changes us in order to be the best citizens to live well in the culture, but it also changes us to live well uh, in, in the church, to, to live well for one another, for the good of one another. And so he's going to unpack in Titus chapter 3 that the gospel changes us in order to make us those who live well in the culture and those who live well in the church. And so, uh, again, beautiful text, uh, chapter, read through it, uh, consider it, write down questions, think about uh, what the Lord is trying to teach you, what the Lord is trying to produce in you through this chapter, and then what the Lord is trying to make you through the both the reading of this and then uh, certainly as we unpack it Sunday in the sermon. So I look forward to seeing you. I uh, hope you're doing well this week, and uh, we'll unpack Titus 3 on Sunday.